Welcome guys, my name is Ricardo Pereira and today I'm going to show you how to use the new functionality of data import. So don't leave and learn Mendixes. So to use the new functionality of data import, we need to go to the first module, right click, add other and select the new option that you can see data importer. So click the I underscore items, click OK, and now we can select a source file. So the document template to import, select a local file, and here you can select your template. Click open. Now you can decide the sheet name. So in my case, it's sheet one. You can also uh, set the header row number and also from each row uh, the data will be imported so the second row and now we can click to preview source data and entity here you can click to auto update and as you can see it automatically detects all the columns inside the excel file so i have four columns country item number item description and new price and on the right side, you can see that was automatically created one entity preview with all the columns that the Excel have. So here you can edit the entity. So here you have the option to, to change the name of the entity. So I'm going to change it to item. And also you can change uh, the data type of each attribute and the attribute name. So for the country, you can set country name and set the type as a string or other uh, type you think it's better to this attribute. So it's fine like this. So click OK and click to create entity. Click OK. Now, as you can see, we have a map of import. So we have the source preview and also the entity preview. Now we can go to the marketplace or you can go to the marketplace tab and search for that importer. So that importer, click on the first one, click to download, click to import as a new module and click OK. Now we can go to the main model as you can see, now we have here uh, just the entity we just created, but let's create a new one. So just to upload the files. So file upload, and we can set as a generalization of file document. Go to access rules new select your module role and also give permissions to create and delete objects and also to read and write click ok click ok again save now you can go to the home web go to the toolbox and just drag and drop a data view double click select microflow Click to select again. Click to create a new. And here we can give the name DS file uploads create object. Click OK. Click to show. OK again. Select to create a new object action. Double click. Click to select the entity, select file upload, and click OK. And cl right click, set as a returned value, go to properties, and make sure you give access to your module role. Go so click to user, and now go back to your page. Go to your toolbox, search for file, 
drag and drop the file manager, double click, and you can set the type as upload, click OK, and now we can use this my first logic uh, microflow to this example, so double click, and now you can go back to your toolbox and search for import data from file, drag and drop to your flow, double click, and as you can see, as an input, we need a file, so close and set as a parameter the file upload object. So select the entity and now OK. Double click on the action, file upload, select the file upload object, and as a dot importer document, you can select the DI items. And as you can see, it returns a list of items and the variable name, it's item list. Click OK. And now we are receiving all the data on a non-persistable entity. So for this example, I'm going to change it directly to a, to a persistent uh, entity, just because we are not going to validate anything now. And make sure that you also give access rules to your module rules. So select user, allow to create new objects and also to delete and read and write access. Click OK and now go back to your microflow and select to commit the object. Select the item list, refresh in client and click OK. Again, don't forget to give permissions to your microflow. You can now save everything and go back to the home web page. Just drag and drop your microflow to the page. And here we can change the caption to import data. Click OK. And we can also add a data grid to be possible to visualize all the data. Double click, click data source, entity path, select item, click OK. Here you can fill all the contents, click yes, and also remove the new and delete button. And that's it. So you can save and click to run the server. So now click to view app, you can log in into your application, click to browse and select your file, upload that importer and now click to import data. And as you can see, it already imports everything. I just have three items in my Excel file, so it's working. Thank you guys for watching. Don't forget to leave the like and I hope to see you soon. Bye.